Welcome everybody to our second episode of Primatology. I hope you're all ready to move it, move it, because in today's video we are learning all about lemurs, one of our most distant relatives in this big ol' primate order. In this video, we will be learning all about the strep serini by taking a close look at the biology and psychology of lemurs, including eye eyes, often called the ugliest primates. But don't worry, we don't judge here. So find your favorite climbing tree and get ready to swing as we delve into the world of lemurs. There are two suborders of living primates, Strepsorhini and Haplorhini. In this and our next video, we will be taking a look at Strepsorhini, which include lemurs and lorises. Among lemurs, there are five living families, Chirogaleids, or dwarf and mouse lemurs, Aiais, Indrids, which include woolly lemurs and Sifakas, proper lemurs, and sportive lemurs. Let's take a look at each of these families and learn more about their biology and psychology. Dwarf and mouse lemurs are the smallest primates out there and are nocturnal and arboreal, meaning they live in trees and only come out at night. They live exclusively on the island of Madagascar, where they are incredible jumpers, bouncing tree to tree and even hop on their back feet when they find themselves on the ground. Their eyes contain something called a tapetum lucidum, which reflects light, which improves their night vision. Some species even hibernate, and all of them have comb-like teeth, which is common among Strepsorhini. Dwarf and mouse lemurs eat fruit, leaves, and bugs. Pregnant dwarf and mouse lemurs carry their fetuses for about 60 days, then weave their young after only five to six weeks. Dwarf and mouse leaders typically mature by the end of their first year and can live for up to 15 years. Eyes are the world's largest nocturnal primates. They're well known for their unusually long middle fingers, which they use like a tool to drag insects out of sticks to eat. Ayais are also isolated to the island of Madagascar, where they live in nests, which they build by weaving sticks and leaves together in treetops. Ayais feed on fruit, insects, and even honey, typically hunting for food solo. In Malagasy culture, the indigenous people of Madagascar, Ayais were for a long time seen as harbingers of bad luck and were often killed upon sight. This, combined with deforestation and poaching, has caused Ayais to become endangered. However, conservation efforts both in Madagascar and in North Carolina, of all places, are helping Ayais return from low numbers and wildlife education programs in Madagascar are helping educate farmers about these amazing, somewhat strange-looking primates. Indrids include two types of lemurs, woolly lemurs and sifakas, both of which are isolated to Madagascar. Indrids are primarily arboreal, but occasionally bounce across forest floors to get from tree to tree. In the trees, however, they famously jump from across branches in spectacular fashion. They primarily eat fruit and leaves and are diurnal, but still find time throughout the day to take frequent naps, something I can definitely get behind. They also live in groups of up to 15 and frequently bask in the sun. These lemurs also often engage in monogamy when reproducing, and gestation lasts about four to five months. After that, indrid mothers usually weed their young after another four to five months. 
The fourth family of lemurs contains several species, including ring-tailed lemurs, brown lemurs, black lemurs, and bamboo lemurs, all of which are isolated to Madagascar. All of these lemurs have woolly, fluffy fur and bushy tails, making them absolutely snuggle-worthy. They also have an incredible sense of smell, as well as binocular vision, meaning their eyes face forward, which helps with death perception necessary for a life swinging from trees. Species of this family of lemurs are cathernal, which means they can be both nocturnal and diurnal. They eat mostly fruits and leaves, and mothers carry their fetuses for about four to five months before giving birth. Lemurs of this family often live in groups of up to 30, making them incredibly social, and some species even have complex dominance hierarchies. Sportive lemurs are also isolated to Madagascar and also have tapetum lucidum to help with their nocturnal vision. They, too, live primarily in trees, jumping from branch to branch using their strong hind legs. These lemurs primarily eat leaves. There has been little research in the wild on these lemurs, so there is not a lot of information we know about their lives in the wild. But they are primarily solitary, usually combative towards members of the same sex. Families usually consist of only two, three, or four individuals, two parents and their one to two offspring. Gestation lasts about four to five months, and weaning usually happens after about the same amount of time. By 18 months, most sportive lemurs are fully mature and live to about 18 years old. All species of lemurs are under threat of extinction due to deforestation and poaching in Madagascar. But fortunately, ecological efforts are helping bring them back from endangered statuses. Research on lemurs, though, helps anthropologists learn more about how early human ancestors may have made the leap from arboreal lifestyles to bipedal life. See what I did there, huh? Uh, okay, lemurs also appear prominently in Western culture, such as in the PBS children's shows of Boomafoo and the DreamWorks animated film Madagascar. In our next episode, we will be learning all about lorises, the other major group of Strepsorhini. Until then, stay wild and never stop monkeying around.